the opportunity and potential to actually fix a perceptible problem that people have been complaining about for 10 or 15 years, that's a once in a lifetime, once in a career opportunity. The fact that we might actually be able to do something on that scale is, is really exciting. I'm Rob Van Kirk. I direct the science and technology program uh, at the Henry's Fork Foundation. The Henry's Fork Foundation was founded in 1984, and I was still only 21 years old at the time. I heard a lot of grumbling in the fly shop. I mean, looking back on that now, we would, gosh, we would just die for the fishing we had in 1984. But people already realized at the time that the fishing wasn't as good as it used to be. And I heard all kinds of ideas about what was wrong with the fishery. And I just decided, well, I wanted to figure out the mystery of the Henry's Fork. And here we are, uh, over 30 years of intense monitoring research to figure this stuff out. When I look at the data and you look, it's warming, that isn't gonna change. We got less water, that isn't gonna change. The increased turbidity we see, the one that we really know we can do something about, that's just a function of the growing season's longer, there's just a longer period of time for more biological activity to just put more dissolved matter in the rivers. It has a big effect on a world-class trout fishery that's worth $30 million, and that's why we're addressing it. By placing our monitoring network from headwaters clear down, we actually found these trends in water temperature and in turbidity and in increased nutrients are the same across the entire watershed. Every drop of water in this river right here, it belongs to some water user somewhere in the basin. And in our context, the primary use is uh, irrigation for, for agriculture. In the Henry's Fork watershed alone, we have seven hydroelectric plants. Because of that, the interests like those of the Henry's Fork Foundation try to influence water management to provide water for those users and provide habitat for fish at the same time. That, it's kind of a tall order, but yeah, we're working to do all of these things. Over the years, the organization learned that water quality, water quantity, fishing experience was tied to management of Island Park Reservoir and to conserve water, we had to work with people who use the water we are using the latest monitoring technology, transmitting that data from the river to publicly available website. And it brings, you know, the latest information to water managers, water users, other scientists, anglers, guides, outfitters in real time, 24 seven. Far and away, our biggest success has been water conservation. We've saved about 23,000 acre feet of water in Island Park Reservoir each year, and it increased reservoir carryover and hence fish habitat by over 40%. So that's a huge success that's, that's essentially unparalleled anywhere in the West. 